So Angel, thanks for agreeing to the interview. Um, so do you use a comb? Rarely. I rarely use my comb. Um, sometimes when my hair is damp I might use it for a little bit of detangling but that's about it. I rarely use the comb. And what type of comb is it that you use? This is my comb. Um, it's just a plastic afro comb. For, it's probably like one ninety nine from any pound store and uh, yeah I've used this. I know there's a lot more sort of fandangled combs out there, seamless combs, wooden combs but yeah, I just use the cheap plastic one. <laughs> and is that called an Afro comb? I, yeah, it is in the packet, but I, it's not like the traditional style of Afro comb, but yes, it is. Yes. Do you know when the Afro comb was invented? I think it was invented uh, by the Egyptians, but I don't know the dates. And where did you find out that information? I have a friend who's very much into our history and taught me this years ago. And do you have a story that you'd like to recall to relate to cones or hair? Um, not really, just maybe that when I was a child, my mum, every Sunday before school on the Monday would wash my hair and she would comb it out with a comb not so much like this one but, but the other style one and she would put it in two plaits and then uh, it would be ready for school the next day and yeah that's how I had to live my childhood with that boring hairstyle so now I'm older I can have lots of different beautiful styles okay. thank you thank you, thank you.